Hello and welcome to Kitch In, the quick, easy and affordable cooking show for students by students. In this episode, we're going to show you how to make a tasty pasta carbonara. We're going to start with cutting up an onion. Now, with cutting, we use very sharp knives. So what you want to do while cutting is be careful that you don't cut off your own fingers because obviously we need those for texting our friends. And there you have your onion, put it on its flat side, tuck your fingers in, make slices to that, you're going to cut them like that, nice and chunky, like that, into dices. I do it like this because I can't do it any better. Make sure you tuck your fingers, cut off the ends, because we're not going to eat them. And again, nice, thick, chunky slices of onion. Keep them together, rotate. Like that. After we've cut that, we're going to put all the onion to the side for later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some chicken and wash it because it's very important that the food we do serve is very clean. We're going to wash this nice chicken breast, just get rinse under the tap, put it down on our cutting board. Washing the chicken is extremely important because it prevents you from getting salmonella. Also keep your raw chicken separate from other foods at all times. Just remember to tuck in your fingers. Cut, cut, just cut a noise, bits of chicken. Put that to the side, start your big piece. This is what happens to real angry birds. I wash them, cut them, and then I eat them. But I like to just first cut everything up. I love angry birds. There you go, just cut chicken. And remember to keep your raw chicken separate from other foods. So now we're going to move to the cooking area. Because we're going to start cooking. So we're going to take a chicken, a garlic and an onion. We're going to take it to the counter here. Take out a frying pan. We need to cook our carbonara sauce in. So right now we're going to take some olive oil. Lubricate that pan. Not too much. That. Make sure it gets everywhere. A pot to put our pasta in. Make sure you get the lid with it. Fill it with water. Let it easily boil the pasta. Put the lid on. Because when you're boiling the pasta, you you don't want the water cooking over, cooking over the edge of the pan. So we're going to add a bit of salt to the pot, which we're going to boil our pasta. Just a tiny little bit, that. Not too much. And we're also going to put a bit of olive oil to go with that. This not only gives a bit of flavour to the pasta, it also keeps it from sticking to the pot when you want to scoop it out. I'm just going to let that boil. And meanwhile, oh, the pan's doing really well here, so I'm going to get a garlic crusher. And I'm just put the garlic in there, crush it in the pan, just like that. If it doesn't come out anymore, just put in another one, like that. Crush it. Real hard. Don't use too much garlic if you've got a hot day planned for the night. Now that's going on with that stir. Right. Then you're going to put your onion in. Nice, thick. Thickly cut onions. 
like that. Get a bit of flavour to the sauce. We'll brown the garlic a bit so the taste really gets out and gets into the chicken later. So we'll just check on the pasta for a bit, the water. See that's boiling real nice. So we'll add the pasta to that and add the boiling, just put it all in there like that. And you'll notice that it stops boiling, but that's because the pasta is out, it doesn't matter. Just put the lid back on and let that cook for a bit. Now the onion and the garlic are browned really nicely. Everything's smelling real good. We can start adding the chicken. Well, right, yeah, that's sizzle, that's what you want to hear. That sounds real good. So we just put everything in there right now. Yeah. Just make sure it doesn't keep sticking to each other. Make sure it's all nice and loose in the pan. It's got a lot of chicken, just give it a good shake like that. So while that's sitting there, we'll uh, show you a quick uh, meal, how to make a caprese salad. Uh, we'll be right back after that. Today we're going to make a lovely caprese salad. Tomato, wash. We can start slicing it. So we slice the tomato, slice it out of that. Make them a bit thick. Next, mozzarella. Cut it in slices, nice and thick. If you've got your slices, we're going to layer them. Push a bit of layer of tomato, mozzarella. Tomato, mozzarella. Like that. Next we take some basil and we tear it. Pepper. Salt. Finally as a finishing touch, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil over our salad. After seasoning your caprese salad, we're going to put it into the fridge to chill it. Bam, there you go. Caprese salad, done. Hello, welcome back to Kitchen. Um, by the looks of it, it's time to add the bacon to the chicken. Uh, remember to keep turning the chicken over in the pan. Uh, we're just going to put the bacon in there like that. Really nice. A bit too much, but alright. Should we stir it around a bit? And like I said earlier, I like to keep a bit uh, chunky chicken uh, in there. So when I just put them together, I can see on the inside whether they're white or not. And if it's thoroughly white, you know it's done. So you can just cut it in half like that, see if it's done or not. Right, so it's been about seven minutes now, and all well, the pasta's looking good, so we're going to strain that. I'm going to get another one of these. Bring that to the sink. That. We'll get a strainer out. Okay, so we've got a strainer. I'll get my protection, because the pan's really hot. We'll try to pull away from yourself, just right into the strainer, like that. Just like that. And then just rinse it up with cold water. There we go, that's our pasta done. Uh, pasta strained, so we're just going to put it back into the pot, ready for all the um, ready for all the sauce to get put into it. Try not to spill everything like I do, but yeah. Right, so the pasta's done, so we're just going to have a look at our meat. Stir it over a bit. The chicken and the bacon look done, smelling really good. Smells of bacon. 
Put it right there, still simmering. So the chicken and bacon are done, so we're going to get some cream spoon and some cream fraiche. Going to open it up, get a nice big scoop of creme fraiche, like that. I'm going to put it into the pan. And we're just going to pour the regular cream as well. Just pour it in. Doesn't look too appetizing, but I'm sure it tastes good. So everything's looking real nice, smelling real nice. It's going to be delicious. So I'm just going to get some plates now. So we're going to serve the food. The plate, I'm just going to get some utensils to scoop up the pasta a bit. Let's grab out the delicious pasta. Scoop it on the plate. One more scoop. Nice. Okay. Okay, the pan. Bacon, chicken, and the lot. There's a bit of cream and bacon. Put some cheese over it. And be generous. The more, the better. There we go. A bit of salt. Tiny pinch, a bit of pepper. There we go. And finally, just one or two leaves of basil, just as for a finishing touch. With these costs, you can feed four people, and if you're alone, you can always have them as leftovers for the next day. Enjoy your meal. And that is how you make a delicious, easy pasta carbonara. I will see you next time for some Mexican madness. Cut! Yeah.